Tonight, new developments in the Donald Sterling scandal. CBS News has confirmed the Sterlings had a deadline of 2 o'clock this afternoon for bids on the Clippers and received between four and six offers. And that goes against what Donald Sterling's attorney told us today. CBS News' Jeff Nguyen spoke with that attorney today who said Mr. Sterling will continue to fight to keep the team. Jeff is in our newsroom with details. Jeff? Well, Susie and Paul, it appears to be a complete flip-flop in less than a week for Clippers owner Donald Sterling. This is the document he submitted to the NBA last night. It is nothing like the one he signed last week to back away from the team. He's a fighter. Tough talk from the attorney of Donald Sterling. Last week, the Clippers owner appeared to have authorized his wife, Shelley, to negotiate a sale of his basketball franchise. But then last night, his legal team sent a scathing 32-page response to the NBA in its effort to strip him of his team. Why sign that document and be where we are now? I have not looked at the document. I can't tell you. I understand it uses the term negotiate a sale. He is looking at the word negotiate not sale. She's looking apparently at sale. Max Bleacher acknowledges his client signed an agreement with his wife to negotiate the sale of the Clippers last week. And during a recent TV interview, Sterling said it wasn't worth his time or his money to fight a removal from the NBA. Why the 180 now? I'm not a psychiatrist, but I'm giving you my assessment is that he was very much a disturbed, shocked, uh, uh, upset by these charges at the beginning, and I think his equilibrium was affected. He's emerged from that now. Next Tuesday, the league's Board of Governors will vote on whether to force Sterling to sell the Clippers following the release of audio recordings in which Sterling could be heard making racially insensitive comments. His wife's legal team released this statement saying, Donald Sterling has authorized Shelley Sterling in writing to negotiate the sale of the Los Angeles Clippers, including his 50% ownership of the team. Where will he take this and how far will he take this? will fight it until some court says you lose. And frankly, I don't think that's going to happen. I think these charges are so sham, so flimsy, so dishonest that no court in the United States is going to say, yeah, you can take the guy and make him sell the team. And in terms of the audio recordings that led to the NBA's removal efforts, Sterling now says they were done illegally by his lover, Vistiviano. In the newsroom, Jeff Nguyen, CBS2 News.